Yeah, big red. Oh no, snuck! Big snuck! Huh? Oh, look at that! Big jump. Hello, this is Jeff at Battlefish, and we're fishing some of our favorite creeks today, well, the next three days, actually, and uh, exploring some new territory as well, Got him again. and I'm using my Crazy Croaker oh. all day, didn't fish any other bait, just the Crazy Croaker uh, in these three days, so uh, hook, enjoy. Huh? So I was using, I've been using LiveScope now over a month and uh, really getting, I think, fairly good at spotting fish, but these fish were noticeably bigger and I, I spot a lot of fish, as I've said in a previous video, uh, mullet, garfish, but uh, these fish were noticeably different looking and um, I'm assuming they were redfish at first, but uh, there were quite a few of them. Okay, I got him. I saw him in a live scope, and I got him. Another big snook. Uh, my boat's oh my sitting at about 20, 22 feet of water, and that's low tide, by the way. <laughs> so it's uh, a little higher, obviously, Landing. about 25, 26 feet deep there at high tide. I wish I had uh, thanks, my friend Jason. Thing. I found out I don't need a permit. I'm permit. over 65, 69 years old, so I don't need a license oh. or a permit for a snook. You just broke the line. I'm using 40-pound mono big game uh, line for leader, and uh, the snook are very sharp gill plates. <laughs> Another and one. And he just turned Another and one. cut it he on his gill like plate. Just tapping it. I couldn't believe it. I lost a total of five snook that day, and um, I wasn't going to give up. I was going to come back the next day, obviously, and try again. There he is. I spotted him on the live scope again, and he, I saw him come after the, after the bait. You gotta bring this one. <laughs> I, I know. Nope. Okay, so much for crazy broken. <laughs> Uh, spotted a manatee uh, right at right in the middle of the channel there uh, by the bridge. That's the uh, JTB bridge. I used to live in Fort Myers, so I've caught a lot of snook, but uh, we used um, never used live bait. Uh, always used artificials. We used uh, little Cleo spoons that were chartreuse and orange. And also the thing that I used quite a bit, especially under docks or around docks at night, was a Barracuda tube lure chartreuse green. Uh, but everything had treble hooks, so uh, hooking a, a snook on a treble hook really wasn't a problem. So here we're using a single hook, because I don't use trebles anymore anyway, so uh, it's a little more difficult to uh, keep them hooked. So this was the second day uh, I was alone, Sonia wasn't with me, so I had to land it myself. Yeah, if you think redfish are hard fighters, and they are, no doubt, these snook, 28-inch uh, snook like these couple ones are, and uh, they are fighting like a 33 or 35-inch redfish.
So you measure snook pinch tail to the tip of their nose or mouth in this case and this these fish were this fish was 28 and a quarter inches. This was early morning, about 7.15 in the morning, and it was about my 10th cast. Um, I did see something move on the live scope up close to shore, I so I cast it's it right that up direction. Right shore, so I'm guessing it's a red. He's staying down. It's a snook, big snook. Are you kidding me? Right Still away. with the live scope, Holy I'm crap. pretty much casting at anything I see moving. Um, see how hard they even fight? Even though it may be mullet or a school of mullet. Now, I can see a school of mullet that's moving or cloud of bait, obviously. I also throw in clouds of bait, thinking maybe there's a fish underneath them as well. That's what I, ain't that what we saw? I saw something like that. Worse than these? Oh yeah, these are much harder fighters than the redfish. Okay, here he comes. Get, get to that in the water. Come on. I'm ready. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you. Oh. Hello, Snoopy. <laughs> it's crazy croaker. Oh my god, this one's bigger. Oop, look at that. It just came right out, didn't it? This is gonna be over slot, I bet. Oh, look at the size of this fucker. Over slot, you ain't gonna pick me <sighs> home. Oh, I forgot to put the camera up. <laughs> okay, how big is he? <laughs> he is... He is right there, 28 inches. I told you to put that fifty dollars. You could have one yesterday or one today. Come on now. I hate killing these fish. There's just so few of them. Okay. I want to see if they want dog. They look they look like they are white. <laughs> So these next fish frolicking, we're frolicking catching or in the mud. losing are exploring some new canals along the intercoastal waterway. Hope they'll let us through. So pay attention and be careful out there. There are a lot of manatees out there. We saw probably a dozen on... Um, any given day, might be mating in these canals and um, in, a in the creeks, and they do not stay close to shore all the time either. So be careful. Another snook. Oh, this is a monster. This is a monster. A big snook. Oh my God, this one's huge. Oh, this one's huge. Yeah. Big. 
some of the neighbors came out and were watching us fish. He was a young boy fishing uh, from one of the docks. We were talking to him. And uh, later on, we gave him a package of crazy croakers to try. Oh, Jesus. Well, this could be my biggest ever. And I've caught some big snook in Fort Myers. I can't keep them if they're over 32 inches though. Yeah, it's over. No doubt. Hey, thanks again for watching and I do try to post a video every week at least. Uh, and uh, Tarpon are in the river now, so we'll probably hopefully hook up some Tarpon. Get some Tarpon videos going. I really appreciate it. Please, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post a video. Thanks. Body fish. He is. He is. 30 inches, first time we've gone back here, but we've caught him over in uh, Cabbage Creek. Ah, that's a bunch of